Now another thing which is really important and many problems uh, can be asked on the base of that concept that how to find the argument of a complex number. The basic question that what is the meaning of the argument. To find the argument of a complex number we must be aware about the concept of the argument. Argument is the angle made by the complex number if it is represented in the arrogant plane. So if z is any complex number represented by x plus i y where x is the real part y is the imaginary part. When we take the arrogant plane we always take x axis as the real axis and y axis as the imaginary axis. Say for example if these values of x and y are such that coming at this point say for example p coordinates are x and y that is x is this distance and y is this height. So when this point p whose location is given by the coordinates x and y if this point p is joined to the origin then line segment which joins origin to the point which is obtained from the complex numbers real and imaginary parts. What angle this hypotenuse makes with the positive direction of the x axis is known as the argument. I repeat argument is the angle made by the hypotenuse of that right angled triangle with the positive direction of x axis which obtained by the real and imaginary parts coordinates. So this angle is theta. For finding the argument we have the relation if this value is x this is y and this angle is theta. So we say tan theta is equals to y upon x that is imaginary part upon real part. So tan theta is given by y upon x and its modulus positive section. So tan theta is given by y upon x then this value of theta is known as the argument. This value of argument depending upon in the quadrant where these real and imaginary parts combination lies. If it is in first quadrant if in place of this theta if this point is coming in the first quadrant and argument is alpha alpha is equals to theta. If this point is coming in the second quadrant then argument is given by pi minus theta. If this point lies in the third quadrant then argument that is the angle alpha in the positive direction of x axis is given by pi minus thetas negative. If this is in the fourth quadrant then alpha is given by minus theta. So the value of argument varies for the same quadrant to quadrant. In the first quadrant argument alpha is given by theta where theta is obtained by using tan theta equals to mod of y upon x where y is the imaginary part and x is the real part. If x and y lies in the second quadrant then argument alpha is obtained by the formula pi minus theta where theta is again obtained by the same result. If the location of the combination of the real and imaginary part lies in the third quadrant then the argument alpha that is the angle made by that points hypotenuse with the positive direction of x axis is given by alpha is equals to minus of pi minus theta. If it is in the fourth quadrant then it is given by alpha is equals to minus of theta. Sometime in the second quadrant we may say it is pi plus theta and we can say it is 2 pi minus theta. But for the principal branch we always consider these values. 